Hi, I'm Eddie Wu, and I'm a mathematics teacher. For me, connecting with students is not always easy. Uh, in fact, in the vast majority of cases, um, I always meet against some struggle and being able to sort of cross that barrier and, and sort of uh, overcome the, the challenges in forming rapport with a student um, takes a lot of time and patience. And sometimes I fail because I'm a human being just like everyone else and I have to learn from my colleagues and see what's the way they do things. And I think back to a student who I taught in my, in my second year of teaching and I had uh, so much difficulty getting across this student, just nothing I seemed to do um, sort of grabbed him. I, I knew that he sort of understood concepts, but he just refused to engage in my classroom. I, I didn't understand what was missing. And I, I looked at my colleagues and I said, hey, what else can I try? And I felt like I threw everything. Like I, I did games, I, threw, I, I tried to take everyone outside, I did collaboration, I did individual tasks. I threw the kitchen sink at this challenge and none of it seemed to actually click until I was sitting next to one of my colleagues in a staff meeting and he was from the PE department and he said, oh, really, Kevin, he gives me no troubles. He's like one of my most switched on, like engaged kids. And I thought, what's going on? What, what, what is different here? What am I missing? Is it just that he doesn't like my subject? Is, and, he, and he said, no, 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 I, he, was, he was quite gifted in mathematics. He just didn't want to engage in the classroom with others. And I thought, what's, what's going on here? What's the missing piece? And I realized as I was talking to this PE teacher that it was that he had, in the course of him teaching the subject, shown a lot more of himself as a human being and that connection was what Kevin was looking for. And sure enough, two years later, after me beating my head against the wall and trying all these different strategies and it not working out, when I became Kevin's touch football coach and I wasn't teaching him anymore and suddenly we made a human connection. He realized that I wasn't just the teacher at the front of the classroom, he just absolutely loved the subject. He realized I cared about him as a person and I was interested in the things that he was good at and that he loved and suddenly it changed my entire view of the way that I taught, that it's not about the subject first, it's about students first and the subject comes through that once you develop that relationship. And so I've, I've learned so many lessons like that, I still am. And so for everyone out there who's thinking, well, I, you know, I'm not sure how that would look for me and there are students I struggle to reach. Uh, we're all on the learning journey together and we still have a lot. Uh, as teachers, everyone needs to think about the things they're naturally good at, but also work out what are the ways I don't naturally incline towards so that I can grow in that direction because we can all become better. That's, that's what we believe in as teachers, that's why we're in this job. We need to believe it about ourselves too.